This is assignment 2 of Harvard's ES50 game development course. In the first specification, we were told to create was a power up with on collision of with the paddle, which generate two identical balls. To do this, I have created a quad which takes in all the different power ups that was given in the sprite sheet. Initialized it on line number 71 and then created a power up dot lua which in implements a collides function to detect collision between the paddle and the power up and i have used this function in play state on line number 102 and on detection it would generate two identical balls then the second specification to add was to increase or decrease the size of the paddle to do this in my paddle dot lua on line number 45 to 51 I've implemented an increase function and 53 to 59 a decrease function should increase and decrease the size of the paddle by one now I've implemented this in play state on line number 186 on if our score passes a certain amount of points increase the paddle size and when we lose our health when our health decreases by one that means when our ball goes out of bounds and we lose we decrease the paddle size by one and the last specification was to add a locked brick and a power up that unlocks the brick. So in order to do this in my brick.lua, I have initialized two variables. One is unbreakable brick can't break, which specifies that the brick is locked and can't be hit. And in my level maker, I have created a variable called unbreakable brick, which is on line 35, which is initialized to false. And every five levels, we would generate a blocked brick. So if it's a level, if the level is divisible by five, then we set unbreakable brick to true and we generate an unbreakable brick, which is done on line number 129 to 143. And in play state, we generate two, we create two variables. One is key and has key. Key basically checks if our level is divisible by 5, then it means that there will be a lock brick present and has key checks whether we have a key to unlock the brick. Then we initialize our power up called K. We check if our level is 5. If it is, then we set it to true. Then in order to check, we go to each brick we check whether it's breakable if it's unbreakable and if we have the key then we set our unbreakable to false and if it's in play and if our brick is if it brick is breakable then we increment the score else we don't increment the score respectively and also when the brick becomes unlocked the score set on collision with the un unlocked brick is more than colliding with the normal brick. Hence, we give the person 250 more points on collision with the unlocked brick. And to identify when we collide, we use the same collides function given in powerup.lua to identify whether a key has been collided with the paddle. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. That's all. I'll be showing you a demonstration now.